How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how you can hide any app on your iPhone, meaning that you can have an invisible app on your home screen that no one will ever know but you, like I have for example. Let me show you. I can tap here and then I can open up Instagram. How cool is that? Invisible apps on your home screen and the coolest thing is this will work on any and all iOS versions. So as you guys can see, I'm running the newest iOS 14 version. Uh, you can run iOS 13 on your iPhone or even in the future iOS 15. It doesn't matter. It will work on any and all iOS models. And the coolest thing is we're not really exploiting any flaws in iOS. So Apple will not revoke it. Apple can't patch it because this is not a hack or a bypass or anything like that it is just a cool little trick and on top of that it is also 100 free and you don't need a jailbreak so honestly anyone can do it you guys are gonna love it so let's get started okay so i'm gonna do this step by step with you guys from the beginning so i have just deleted that invisible icon it's not here anymore so Again, I'm going to do it from the top with you. The first thing you're going to have to do is actually take a screenshot of your background image of your home screen wallpaper. OK, that's that's the first step. So in order to do that, all you have to do is really just tap and hold on any app and then uh, edit home screen. And then it's going to go to jiggly mode. Right. And then you're going to scroll to the right. And then you're going to have a blank home screen page right here, which you can just take a normal screenshot, which for most new iPhone is going to be the side button plus volume up. But uh, if you have a slightly older iPhone model is going to be the power button and the home button. OK, so just take your normal screenshot and then it's going to be saved to your uh, camera roll. OK, now that we have that uh, image, because, of course, we're going to use that image to create that little icon that's going to sit right here. So so you're going to get the idea. All you have to do now is open Safari and then we're going to go to this website, which is going to do the magic part. Uh, the website is going to be I empty. Uh, it's kind of a long name, so it's going to be I empty dot tool iPhone dot net. Of course, I'm going to have the link on the screen, the name on the screen and the link in the description. So don't worry about that. OK, so as soon as the page loads, uh, just scroll down and then we're going to go to add empty icons. OK, so tap on that. Um, this website is a, is a little bit cluttered, is not really well laid out. So just follow me because uh, you may get lost very easily. OK, so scroll down a little bit more and then you're going to see upload. And that's the part where we're going to upload that screenshot that we just took. OK, so tap on upload the blue button and then choose file. So tap on choose file, photo library. And then that's the screenshot we took, right, of my uh, home screen wallpaper. And then just tap on choose. So tap on that. And then it's going to load right here. And then send. Tap on the send button. And then it's going to send automatically. Please keep in mind that this process generally takes quite a while. It's weirdly slow. Uh, sometimes it takes like um, on mine, it should take just a few seconds. But I've seen I've tested this before, of course, and it took like five minutes. So if it takes a long time, just wait. It is not frozen. It is not stuck. Just wait. OK, again, on mine is super fast, but it may take minutes. So just Please be patient. OK, so now it is at 100%. And um, don't think I even I'm, I, I'm even going to need to cut. I can even wait for it to load. Let's see. Yeah, it took a few seconds and then 100%. So I had to cut it. So uh, now we're going to scroll down. And this is very important. So scroll down, 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 down. And right here at options, it is probably going to be marked as profile on yours because by default it is marked as profile. Make sure to mark to bookmark because otherwise it's going to want to install a, 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 an installation, a, a configuration profile on your device. You don't want any of that. You don't want that profile. You don't want any of that. So tap on bookmark. OK, very important bookmark. Now we're going to scroll down and that's where you're going to select where your invisible app, your hidden app is going to be. So I'm going to tap on the same position that I did uh, just on the intro of this video so, because I like this position. I really like it. So I'm going to tap here and then I'm going to scroll down and tap on add one icon. So as soon as I do that, it's going to load. And here it is the icon. Uh, that's actually a cutout portion of my home screen. So that's how we hide it, right? So now that we have that, I just tap on this button, tap on it, it's going to load. And then we tap and hold. 
and then add to photos. So we now have added, successfully added our icon to our photos app. So it's gonna be right here. That's the image that you want. That's gonna be perfectly matching the background right here. That's gonna make it look completely invisible. It's gonna be awesome. So now, how do we actually do that? There are a ton of ways to do it, but the, the way I really, really like to do it is actually with shortcuts because we're going to do that 100% for free with native Apple applications. If you don't know shortcuts, shortcuts is an automation application made by Apple. So it is free. It is trustworthy and everything like that. If you don't have it installed on your iPhone, go to the App Store and tap shortcuts. I'm also going to have the link in the description, but again, this is an Apple application. So don't worry. Okay. So you can tap on it and here we have it. Your shortcuts. I have none on yours. It's probably going to be like that if you never used it. And now all you have to do is tap on the plus icon because we're going to need to create an automation. So a shortcut. So plus now add action. And then we're going to tap right here at the top at search. And then we're going to tap on open. So it's going to be open app because that's what we want to do. We want the action to open an application, right? So open app. What app? That's the app that you want. So now you, you we've had we have selected the location of the invisible app and this is going to choose what app is going to open. So you can choose any app that you want. Again, for for the purpose of this video, I'm going to add again Instagram because I want to make Instagram hidden. So then uh, Instagram on this list, it's going to be all the apps that are installed on your iPhone. So if it's on your iPhone, it's going to be there. Okay. Now tap on the three dots at the top right hand corner and then add to home screen. Now, this is the very important part. You want to delete the name of the app because it's going to be hidden. So we don't want a name. So we can delete the name and now we're going to tap on the icon itself. Choose photo. Tap on that photo that we just took, right? That cut out of our home screen uh, wallpaper, choose, and then add. So add it to home screen. So now it's already here because this is my last icon. So as I tap on it, there we have it, Instagram perfectly working amazing if you have this page full of apps maybe it's going to be on the next screen okay so or maybe it's going to be whatever uh, on a screen after that but since i don't have any apps here it, it was already uh automatically added here uh, also keep in mind that if you tap and hold on any application and uh, edit your home screen it's going to be right here so you can see it very easily but only you can see it and of course you can delete it and do whatever you want pro tip if you want to create invisible app that are truly invisible try to create them and add them to a position where we have solid colors that's why i add it here because you really can see it if you cre if you create an invisible app on uh, for example this part right here what where we have this line or where we have this shift of colors uh, every time we, we actually do this is going to be very visible uh, that we have an invisible app. So always try to create invisible apps and try to add invisible apps uh, to those portions where we have like very solid colors, never on uh, margins or shapes or things like that. This is just a pro tip, but of course you can do whatever you want. So as, as you just saw, you can be creative now. You can create any number of invisible apps. You can actually create a whole screen of invisible apps. You can do whatever you want, but you have to do it one by one. As I said, first from the website, and then you're going to go to the shortcut app, and then you can create invisible hidden apps for as many as you want. So that's pretty much it. Hope you like it. Uh, I really did love it. Uh, you guys loved my first video, but Apple really patched it. But now that we're not really exploiting uh, anything, really, so we're not really exploiting our weaknesses or we are really like hacking Earth. No, nothing like that. This is just a trick. So Apple can never revoke it. And this will work forever and in any iOS version. So I truly, really love it. So that's pretty much it. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, little bell icon, and of course, hit the comment box down below. I really do appreciate all your feedback. So that's pretty much it. And I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.